I think Shakespeare missed an opportunity to deepen Hamlet's conflict by enhancing his relationship with Ophelia. The film versions of the play, which many readers have seen, focus on her naivety and madness. Well, if Ophelia was so dim, what on earth made Hamlet fall in love with her? How would the play have been different if she had not drowned? If Ophelia could tell her own story, how would it differ from Shakespeare's version? These were the kinds of questions that started me thinking. They just wouldn't let go, so I began writing. And thus, this book, Ophelia by Lisa Klein, was born. It was actually, honestly, a lot better than I expected it to be. There were a lot of things that I didn't expect from this book, and the first one was apparent right off the bat because it actually starts when Ophelia is a little girl, and then you kind of follow her growing up. So in this whole book, this whole novel, which is in three parts, the part that we're familiar with, the part that coincides with the play, is like this big. And then there's all of this character development and all of this stuff that's happening to Ophelia, which kind of happens around the play. And this sounds so weird, but I was expecting it to be more like Hamlet from Ophelia's perspective. And then it turns into, this is a story about Ophelia. So I enjoyed seeing a stronger Ophelia because I love I love historical fiction and I love when the women of that time are more than what that society expected them to be. The second thing that surprised me about this book is that I kind of expected it to end at the end of the play. But, you know, like I said before, the play is about this much of the book and then it goes on in either direction. And so it doesn't end as we know Hamlet ends, where, you know, basically everybody dies, it actually goes on after that, and we see Ophelia recovering from this tragedy, because she's one of the few people who escaped. She escapes Denmark, she actually runs away to France, and she finds shelter in a nunnery, which I just now realize is kind of ironic. The third thing that kind of took me by surprise is, of course, you know, I'm reading this book, and I'm waiting for... Hamlet, the play, to happen. And, you know, I know I'm fairly familiar with it. I know all of these scenes that Ophelia shows up in. And what I found really interesting in the book is that that's not really Ophelia. Which is to say that in all of the scenes in the book that we know as scenes from the play, Ophelia, the character, is really acting. She's really putting on a show for the people around her. Like I said, it was a really good story. I really enjoyed it. Um, there were some really interesting twists and turns and things, which I'm not going to tell you because that would ruin everything. I also really appreciated how Lisa Klein added little details into the book, little details that, you know, you might not um, really attach from the play, like Ophelia in this book is really interested in botany and how plants can be used as medicine and the meaning of what certain plants are and their names and all of that and the uses for them and so you know as you're reading this you're going ah you can't wait for the flower scene because we all know that it's coming and um so yeah that was really interesting and there are lots of you know other little things that you're just like I see what you did there. If I were to attach some sort of warning to this book, I would say that it does get pretty religious-y in the third part of the book later, after she escapes Denmark. I mean, you know, you kind of expect it. She's taking shelter in a nunnery. Nuns are religious, so, I mean, if you're really touchy about that sort of thing and that's going to prevent you from appreciating the book, just don't read it. But yeah, it was uh, it was a good book. It was an interesting plot. It was interesting characters. It was some um, surprising changes from the original, and I thought it was really creative and really well thought out. And I really appreciated it. And I hope that you do too. So happy reading. Ophelia. The film versions of the play, which many readers have seen, focus on her naivety and madness. Is that how you say that? Naivety. Naivete. Naivety. Naive. <laughs> Okay, so that's cool. Oh my god. <gasps> oh Jesus, what? What? What am I doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh god, oh my god. Oh, okay. In. The third thing that kind of took me by surprise was. What's the third thing I was gonna say? 
There was another thing. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh my god, how many times am I going to go through this? Because I think that's important. La -da 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 -da. Thank god for editing. Thank god.